No, no, did you issue your committee, ma'am? Is that correct? No, no, thanks. Are you familiar with the case no, of this? I really don't care. To are talk. you familiar with Thank the case you. of this man who burned himself alive in protest of your judici judiciary? Have you done anything from your position of power on the committee to reduce the amount of uh, abuses by judici Randy, judiciary? Randy, would you ask him to leave, please? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Lockchain.com. Um, 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 um. Representative Munn? Sorry, can't talk right now. Oh, all right. Well, this is something I've never seen before. It's a line to get into a House hearing. I wonder what that's all about. All right, so it's the bill that would exempt RVs from taxation, although this is just the group that's outside. I don't know if they're in line, too, but there's definitely a long line. But I guess what's been happening is uh, municipalities have been trying to treat, you know, storage RVs practically as though they are homes and taxing them. So this is designed to, I guess, address that problem. Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. Okay. It's like a poor man's TV station. All right. But I got a question for you about a bill I think you voted for. Uh, I understand you voted for a bill that would force employers to uh, do uh, your checks to make sure their their uh, employees are citizens. Is that correct? Is that the one on, um, I think, electronic background checks? Yeah, I've got a copy of it here, part of it, anyway. Uh, it, would, it would force employers, if they have a contract with the state, okay, or I think with the municipality, to uh, cooperate with Homeland Security in investigating their employees, basically. Okay. They have, there's, it's called the pilot program. Okay. I believe. Okay. Am I right? Did you really vote for that, or? Well, I I don't remember the specifics of the bill. I mean, I I do remember a bill that would have um, encouraged or required. I can't remember which. The state to utilize the e-verify system that the Department of Homeland Security has, which is a way of verifying that somebody is legally able to work in the country. Were you going to require that too? Or were you in favor of requiring that too? I thought that that made sense because it, it's a legal requirement already to verify employment in the country. And E-Verify is just a way to simplify that process and make it easier for the, for the, for the employer. E-Verify is not mentioned in the, in the bill that I'm, that I'm bringing up. Okay. It may have been part of the discussion. And I don't, I don't know what specific bill you're referring to. Yeah, it's 243H Bill 243. Okay. But I, that I, it wouldn't mean anything to me if I was a rep either. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah. I do remember, you know, a bill that was, you know, something about, you know, that was about uh, verifying unemployment, and I thought that's that's what, you know, was in that in that bill. But I can't remember the specifics of every, every bill. But is it? I mean, is it right to, you know, you say you're a Republican, right, and pro business, but making businesses go to this extra expense of investigating their employees? It sounds big brother, and it sounds expensive. Well, I'm actually not a Republican. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And I, but I am pro business. Yep. And um, you know it's the federal law, it's the law of the land um, that has been established a long time ago. And um, I just felt that um, uh, you know we should try to make it as easy as possible for people to comply with the law. All right. Well, All you right. spend enough time with me, and I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. Take care, Mr. Yep. Munch. Right. You on the Judiciary Committee, ma'am? And do I exist? Do you care that a man burned himself alive in protest of your system? Does that matter to you? Are you apathetic about that kind of thing? Deaf? People protesting you? So now, are you the one that reported me to security earlier? And why did you do it, if so? You're on the Judiciary Committee, ma'am, is that correct? No, no thanks. Are you familiar with the case no, of this? I really don't care to are you talk. familiar with the case of this man who burned himself alive in protest of your judici judiciary? Have you heard of him? Have you done anything from your position of power on the committee to reduce the amount of uh, abuses by judici Randy, judiciary? Randy, would you ask him to leave, please? I'm busy. 
David if she just wants to go. What are you asking me to do exactly? Uh, uh, she just wants to be able to leave. Are you giving me an order? No. No. And am I interpeting with her ability to leave? No. All right. Okay, next. I hate to see him get upset. Your pardon? I hate to see him get upset. I don't. Okay, all right, thanks, you too, you too. Blockchain.info's free Bitcoin web wallet, chock full of privacy and security features, two-factor authentication, a second password for sending coins, they never have control over your passwords or your coins. They don't even require your personal info. Get yours today at blockchain.com. Um, 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 um.